If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Arise and be not afraid. Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elijah is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And the third day he shall be raised again. What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children or of strangers? Then are the children free, notwithstanding, lest we should offend them. Go thou to the sea, and cast and hook, and take up the fish that first cometh. And when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money. Take and give unto them for me and thee. <clears throat> Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become a, as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And Whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to the man by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life, halt or maim, rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. And if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into a hell fire. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them go astray, do it he not leave the ninety and nine, and go it into the mountains, and seek it that which is gone astray? And if so, be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiced more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall not hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take him thee one or two more 
that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. <laughs>